Hey, uh, let's go look at another one. Uh, I've got one here that's, uh, that's Nike. We love Nike. And um, this is, we made this ad up for their Air Jordan show, uh, shoe. Again, none of these folks are endorsing us in any way. We just love their brands and, and uh, love their products. So this goes right into a video. Cool, huh? And then, uh, so let's go ahead and look at, uh, I can look at the design or some photos, but I'm gonna, I wanna show you this cool thing, history here. And that, again, somebody built that little navigator, very simple. So this is the, the, the history of the shoe, uh, starting in, in 1985, and you just, you can just flick, flick through the different years, and you know, see how the shoes evolved each, each year, if you're really into this stuff, and a lot of people are. Um, you know? So again, you can just see the shoe progress throughout the years. Pretty cool. So let's go back. And uh, here's Nike ID. This is a really cool program where you can make your own shoe. And uh, Nike's been doing this for a while, and it's great. And so it says, shake your iPhone for more examples. So I shake my iPhone, get another one. Shake my iPhone, get another one. And there's an app right here, Nike ID, that I can download to my phone, and it lets me build these custom shoes and order them from Nike right here on my phone. And if I want to find a store that's carrying these nearby, uh, again, it'll find my location and put up some places to carry the shoes. Right? So that's an example of what a Nike ad could look like. And here's another one. This one for Target. And Target's awesome. And, uh, you know, time to get inspired. Great. And again, you can have animation bringing these things on. I just click on it. It takes over the screen again. Back to school. <laughs> So I could play that again, or I could uh, build my own dorm room, let's say. So let's see what that's like. I am a dude <laughs> who's into fashion, skateboarding, music, sports, I'm going to say music maybe. The music, and I'm going to Baylor, Berkeley, and pick my school, Michigan. <laughs> so Let's build my room, and, and uh, it's going to put up all this stuff that they carry, this Michigan furniture here. I want a beanbag chair, let's say, and I want a wall clock, and, uh, oh, I don't know, let's say a Michigan rug. And again, I can just look at my shopping list here, and it shows me everything, and I can just go buy it if I want to. I can find a Target store, you know, either near me, or near my school, because I don't want to lug all this stuff back there. Right? It's that simple. So, and again, I can return to my app anytime I want. So that's an example of three ads that are very easy to make. Right? And in addition to ad agencies being able to make these things, there are hundreds of thousands of iPhone app developers that know how to make those things. So uh, we think this is going to be pretty exciting. Emotion plus interactivity. The ads keep you in your app. So you're much more likely to click on them and want to go explore them, because you can always get back with just a touch. They're built into iPhone OS. iAd is. The framework is. So it's really easy for developers to add iAd opportunities to their app. Apple will sell and host the ads, and the developer will get the majority of the revenue. So that is iAd, and that is our seventh tentpole.